The last transition property that we need to look at is called pause when exiting. In this example, we've got two different timelines. We've got timeline two, which has nothing on it, and its only purpose is so that we can make a transition. Now, timeline one keys the rotation of this rectangle 360 degrees. It's also important to note that the timeline is looping. Now, if we look at the state machine, we've got the transition from our looping animation to the timeline that has no keys. Our exit time is set to 100%, and our duration is set to 500 milliseconds. So essentially what we have is that we're gonna play the timeline one completely, and then we will transition to the next timeline over 500 milliseconds. Now let's play the state machine and see what happens. What we end up getting is a complete 360 turn and then another half turn. Now what's happening is that we're playing this entire timeline once, and then during our transition, we're playing half the timeline again. Now, if you remember, 500 milliseconds is half a second. During the transition, our state continues to play until it gets about halfway through, and then the transition is over. Now, if we don't want the state machine to continue playing this state, that's where the pause when exiting option comes in. So when we toggle that on, what's gonna happen is when we play the state machine, the animation will play once and then stop as the transition happens. So we don't get that half turn anymore after our state finishes playing.